Why is everybody breaking though? That's what's really concerning me is that everybody's breaking when there's ample space for everybody to drive. Anyway, so yeah. Plus, I have a couple events coming up in the month of November that I'm actually really excited about. Um, so I didn't really get to talk about this. Um, I sort of kind of filmed it, but then I didn't include that footage because I just looked rough. So anyway, as you guys can see, I took my tapings out, but I took them out for a reason. It wasn't because of the maintenance or because I was tired of them. No, it was just simply because, um, my cousin's wedding is next month, November. Um, and I wanted to get my hair freshly, freshly done for her event rather than me keep going, you know, once a month or every few weeks to get my hair washed and stuff like that. Plus the tapes do come out over time. The tapes come out. So a few of them, three of them actually, uh, I can feel the stickiness, like I can feel the adhesive. So I just said, you know what? I'm just gonna take them out myself. So I just peeled three of them off and none of my own hair came out. Um, so I just figured why not just take them all out, give my natural hair a break, and you know, so I'm not constantly straightening it. Um, let it rest for about three weeks and then for her wedding, the day before her wedding, um, which is really the day we fly out um, of North Carolina, I'm just gonna get it installed, um, get it pin curled, and I'm just gonna leave the curls in and I'm showing up to the airport with my bonnet on and with my um with my pink curls in i don't care i'll probably when you go through tsa i'll probably be woo -woo 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 -woo, but i gotta you know the pins gonna have to stay in my head because i cannot curl my own hair in the day of her wedding i cannot rely on anybody to curl my hair for me because my aunt will be busy since she's the mother of the bride the bride who would probably help me out with my hair is obviously gonna be doing her own thing on her big day so really I have nobody to turn to. So I'm really excited for her wedding. Um, she's the first of my cousins to get married and I'm just really happy for her. You know, big Aquarius energy matched up with her boo of Taurus and I'm really happy for her. I think that's a good match. Um, you know, I think it's a good match. Obviously it's a good match because they're getting married, but I'm just saying astrologically. Anyway, um, yeah, so that's earlier in November, kind of mid-November. And then, um, next is a Rod Wave concert. Now, last year around this time, I fell in love with Rod Wave's Soul Fly album, and um, I was put on to one song, and then one day I was just chilling by myself and decided to listen to the rest of the album, and I said, oh my god, I have been sleep. And when I say sleep, I mean asleep on this man's album like i'm from florida i'm from Broward county florida so rod wave is obviously popular down there but i always felt felt like his music low-key sounded the same like a lot of his songs you know sounded the same like he wasn't really switching it up but that album spoke to me just oh no somebody's trailer has a flat tire damn i know that sucks um, anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, so, um, just the last two years alone, which I know the last two years have been difficult for everybody, you know, we're dealing with our first pandemic and all of this other stuff, but in reality, like, just in my life alone, I just feel like so many changes had happened, and listening to that album, it was almost like it deadass spoke to me, like, so many other songs were basically you know, describing my situation, like moving out for the first time, how to get it on my own, people really looking at you sideways, talking about you not gonna make it, or you're, whatever you're choosing to do with your life is not gonna get you far. Um, and that phone call you get when you're on TV, like, mama, I freaking made it. Like, all of that just really spoke to me. And to this day, I play that So Fly Deluxe album daily. Like, I love every single song. It hasn't gotten old. And then, he dropped a beautiful mind um, and I love it honestly like at first you know honestly when you listen to an album in its entirety sometimes 
it just it can be overwhelming and you don't really appreciate the songs when you first hear them so i downloaded maybe like seven songs and then over time i start now that i know i'm going to the concert i started listening to other songs and i was like oh i slept on a lot of these so i'm just really excited to see rod wave and he's got mariah the scientist and susie coming out and i just feel like it's gonna be an amazing concert and I just, I just, this is my first concert in years. Like, the last concert I went to was a Chris Brown concert. And, um, yeah, that was so long ago. That was like 2016 or 2017, something like that. And then I was trying to go to the Millennium Tour. Um, I believe it was supposed to be in 2020, but then as you know, the world fucking went to shit. So, um, I was like, I need my money back because I don't know when we're gonna be able to sit in a large crowd again. And I'm not about to sit there and let y'all keep my money for all of this time. And I'm so glad we got our money back simply because we no longer lived in Florida. By the time the concert was put back on, we no longer live in Florida. So we would have had to fly back just to go to the concert. So anyway, I know that I'm rambling a lot, but I just feel like, um, I don't want to just keep doing montage footage. Like, I want you guys to actually get to know me, hear about the things going on in my life. Because realistically, social media is problematic in a sense because so many people show the greatest parts of their lives. And that's to be expected, right? Why would we want to sit there and put our worst moments on the internet? You know, especially because nowadays so many people are internet trolls, internet bullies have nothing better to do with themselves than to try to hurt people's feelings even worse you know in the comments so a lot of the times people don't share the things that's going on with them which i don't blame anybody for that um but at the same time it can give this illusion that people's lives especially you know with the influencer world and you know the lifestyle content you know you see people with the nice cars and you know nice apartments nice homes buying all the luxury items and while that's beautiful trust me don't get me wrong like i love that lifestyle i love everything about it but people that are watching are just like oh i want to be that and it's like just because you have money doesn't mean your problems go away just because you manifest things and things come true for you doesn't mean that the other things that are going on in your life just automatically disappear like the last two years have been like insane for me you know and of course oh, things can always be worse and there's always somebody going through something worse than you but if you really think about it you are the creator of your universe and you're the main character in your story so for you to sit there and put other people's trials and tribulations above your own saying well you know this event is going on in my life and it's really bringing me down but i know somebody's dealing with something worse like yes we can acknowledge that there are people going through other things but don't diminish what you're dealing with and what you're going through to you know don't compare yourself to other people like you are your main character deal with you worry about you pray for the world at the same time but worry about you um so i just feel like two years a lot has been going on a lot of changes a lot of people that are no longer in my life um and i believe everybody gets removed for a reason you know people are literally in your life for a reason a season a lifetime my mother has always taught me that i stick by that so you know people i don't hold on to people too tightly i just don't because if they're not in my life i don't want to be an emotional wreck when they leave or when i leave whichever the case may be so anyway i think that's pretty much all i have to say so anyway y'all i do have a long drive um I got about an hour and 15 minutes before I get there. Now you knew better. Let me tell you something. When people switch lanes and don't even look in their mirror before moving over, y'all are the real demons on this planet. Because it's like, do you just assume nobody's right there? Like, when I move over, I lean. Because I've learned that blind spots are real. And you can accidentally push somebody over or run into them completely if you don't look. And this lady just, woo. Anyway, so you know I'm about to go listen to my music. I've been rambling for a long time, so I'm gonna listen to my music. Um, and I'll pick y'all up when we get close to the mall. You can't tell me what you do.
up with Vigo. All be dressed, be no puppy show. She said, What's wrong with you? Tell me why you act so tough. Tell me why you're so scared to show love. Tell me the scars in my heart, it's a no blow. Listen. successful I found a pair of boots to go with my concert outfit so so far I bought the jacket now I got the boots and I'm just looking for a full jumpsuit bodysuit fashion over had one but they're all sold out in the size that I need so I'm gonna keep looking and eventually I find it okay y'all the weirdest fucking thing when I first parked in here, in the parking garage, it smelled like weed in here. And I remember, because I was on the phone with my mom, and I was like, ooh, damn, I'm going to smell like weed in here, like straight weed. Tell me why I get in my car, and my car smells like straight weed. Like, I've been smoking in here, and I have not. Like, that is strong and concerning. I, I literally just had to look at my backseat and like, is somebody in here smoking? Like, anyway, so like I said before, I found um, a pair of boots. So they kind of look like Prada boots. But see, I'm gonna be real with you. I'm not the type to say like, oh, what I'm trying to say is like, I'm not too afraid to buy a dupe of something. Like if it's a dupe, if it's a replica, I don't really care. Well, actually the difference between like a dupe and a replica is that a dupe is like mimicking the style but you know it's a different brand i believe a replica is trying to be an exact copy of it but fake so anyway i found a prada boot dupe i like it i love it yeah and it goes well with this bomber jacket that i bought a few weeks ago at the mall so i guess now since i have nothing else to do in this area i'm just gonna go home and see what's popping on my side of town and uh, get up out this weed smelling garage. And be real with y'all, it's not even cold enough for what I got on. And I keep doing this to myself. Like the weather will say 50 something. So I put, you know, this on and this. Girl, I'm hot walking around this mall. Anyway, so yeah, I'll check in you guys, check in with you guys when I get back on my side. <laughs> think like it's five o'clock or close to five o'clock it's really 4 53 so you know people are trying to get off work i did not put two and two together that there was going to be traffic and it's going to take me a lot longer to get home than it took me to get here so um but i'm noticing though charlotte if i could describe charlotte now 
from last year to this year, it seems like New York City mixed with Atlanta. Like, it looks like Atlanta, you know, but the driving here, ridiculous. I've seen so many accidents already. Like, just dumb shit. Look how dry my hair gets when there's no water in it. Anyway, yeah, people don't want to let you in. Like, we're all going to the same place. You might as well be nice and let me in before we be out in these streets fighting. Like, I don't understand. So anyway, um... It says I'm going to get home like 6.30 and it's 4.54, so yay me. So as you guys can see, I am home. Um, the lighting in my room is honestly pretty bad, which is why I really don't film in here, you know. So I just um, sat here for the last hour or two. It's actually 8.14, so I did get home probably around 6 something. I could tell you exactly what time I got home. I got home at exactly 6.18 p.m. So it's now 8.14, so almost two hours later, and I basically just edited all the footage that I recorded today because if you are going to do any type of weekly vlogs or really just videos in general, it can be easier for you to edit as you go. So like, let's just say you're doing a weekly vlog and you're recording like four or five days out of the week. If you go home that night and like edit the footage from that day, you won't have like four or five hours worth of footage to edit at the last minute. So that's just a vlogging editing tip. Um, you know, it just really depends because at the end of the day, everything that you do in life is going to be some type of work. Like, you know, something, everything that you do to make money or to be successful is going to require something. And editing is just one of those things where you have to dedicate hours at a time. To sit there and record or not to sit there and edit like literally all the sounds all the transitions all the things that you see on the screen everything syncing music to the beat all of that is an edit and it takes time so anyway I just did that now I'm actually quite hungry like I'm getting a little hunger headache in here um, I've been trying to drink some water but I didn't need to find something to eat. And honestly, this is my biggest challenge because I rarely ever have an appetite for something. And sometimes when I do have an appetite, it's not for something healthy. Like it's maybe for some fried chicken to be honest. So right now I don't have a taste for something specific and the later it gets, the less options I have because things start to close. So I need to figure it out, but if I don't take you guys with me to get something to eat, this is good night and farewell. I'm not sure if I'm ending the vlog here, but if I am, good night guys. Thank you so much for coming with me on my week. I know it really wasn't that eventful, but honestly, I really like just to give y'all a little bit of insight into my personal life. I really know that there's going to be a major change in my life coming soon and i feel like then when things are different is when i'll be in the right environment in the right headspace to really film and give you guys the content that you deserve because right now obviously i'm a growing youtuber and i already know what it feels like to have a monetized channel i do have another channel that's already monetized so it's like, it's an attainable goal. So for this one, I'm not so pressed to really get there in a certain time frame because I know that what I'm doing takes a lot of recording and a lot of effort and editing and stuff like that. And I just want to give you guys really good content. I don't want to just post half-assed content simply because I only have a certain amount of subscribers and I'm not big yet. So anyway, I know that things will be changing and I will be better with the content soon but for right now this is the life that i'm living y'all like this is reality i'm not gonna sit here and fake a life just for views or just to impress people so if i don't talk to you guys anymore thank you so much for watching this weekly vlog and i will see you in the next one